I'm Petty Officer Liz Murray. One Marine is dead and three others injured after a helicopter crash off the coast of Hawaii. The Marine Corps Sea Stallion went down Tuesday night in shallow water in Kaneohe Bay, just two miles from the air station. The chopper and its crew were part of the Marine Heavy Helicopter Squadron 363. The three crew members injured were taken to Tripler Army Medical Center in critical condition. The crash is under investigation. One of the primary challenges facing Southcom is the threat posed by transnational criminal organizations. U.S. Southern Command General Doug Douglas Frazier says they represent a continued challenge to regional and hemispheric security because they traffic drugs, arms, money, and people. Nowhere in my mind is this more evident than in Central America and in Mexico, which are besieged by gangs, transnational criminal organizations, and drug traffickers who operate with near uh, impunity. The direct result is unprecedented levels of violence and the erosion of citizen safety. General Frazier says the best example he's seen of the threat of these criminal organizations is in the northern triangle of Central America. General Frazier believes it has become one of the deadliest zones in the world besides active war zones like Iraq and Afghanistan. Airmen from Yokota Air Base in Japan are playing a key role in the relief efforts. The country is still reeling from a devastating earthquake and tsunami. As a precaution, commanders at Yokota say every U.S. aircraft involved in the mission is being checked for radiation once it returns to base. The move comes as Japan deals with a crisis at its Fukushima nuclear plant. We are looking at every aircraft that comes back that goes anywhere near that vicinity. And so the people who look at that every day, we want them to feel secure, so we put them in the suit so that they can go out and check all the aircraft and personnel that come out. But uh, so far, those suits have not been needed. So uh, we're very fortunate, and uh, the air here at Yakota is great, and uh, we have no issues with water or the like. Yakota Air Base is located about 25 miles northwest of Tokyo. And a reminder, there's a new deadline to apply for retroactive stop-loss special pay. The new deadline is April 8th. Retroactive stop-loss special pay compensates military members whose service was involuntarily extended between September 11, 2001 and September 30, 2009. Well, it was a shocking scene that gripped world headlines earlier this month. A shooting at Frankfurt's International Airport targeting U.S. service members. When the smoke cleared, two U.S. airmen laid dead, dozens more injured. One of the injured airmen, Edgar Vigila, was honored recently by the 48th Security Forces on RAF Lake and Heath. Airman First Class Aaron Zabarnik takes us to the ceremony. RAF Lake and Heath held a ceremony where Brigadier General Jimmy McMillan presented senior airman Edgar Vigia with the Purple Heart. For wounds received in action on 2 March 2011, under my Airman Vigia is the last of the four airmen who were injured or killed in the Frankfurt shooting to receive the medal. Being awarded with the Purple Heart is probably one of the greatest honors anybody would ever feel. We have a great people out doing courageous things every day. They don't always get front page news or front page headlines, but they deserve them every day. For RAF Lake and Heath, I'm Airman First Class Aaron Zabarnik. Coming up ahead on Around the Services, the Army Chief of Staff talks war and service on the eve of his retirement. But first, we head downrange where U.S. service members are providing some soul support to Afghan villages in dire need of a simple necessity. 